there's this guy on Instagram. I think his name is Yoel. You've sent me his stuff. I've sent you his stuff. He's um, him and his wife. They're Cuban immigrants, but he just got here. Yeah, yeah. Within a few years, and he goes through different things. He goes to the grocery store, and he's super emotional that he's seeing food all over the grocery store. He goes to. Uh, he has his first like In and Out burger. Oh my god. He has his. Uh, he went the other day to uh, uh, the ninety uh, Key West. The buoy, uh-huh. oh, the yeah. 90 mile from Cuba. He hugged it, he right? He hugged it, and he was crying. I saw it. that. And he says, you know, all the Cubans that died trying to get here. So it's interesting. His It's a perspective that I think is very... And that's what I'm getting to is the guy this morning, our buddy at the cafe, says, I want to go to Guatemala. I like traveling. I like culture because when you come back, you appreciate a lot more what you have You're here. a different man, a different woman. And that's just one country. We're talking about Cuba because I was born in Cuba. Yeah. But you can talk about... Central, for example, South America. I have a buddy from Vietnam. Sure. Okay. That he got into the jungle to, to cross to, uh, I forget what other country, and he got caught like 10 times. And every time it was worse. They gave him a beating or whatever. Um, the last time... He said, I'm, I'm either going to make it or, you know, they know me so well this time, I'm, they're going to beat me to death. Jeez. And so he got through and he came to America, became a very successful businessman. He's from Vietnam. And um, one of the things that happened to him is that growing up, he didn't get enough milk. Mm. So he always had really, really bad teeth. Okay. And one of his pet peeves in life, okay, was to eat a nice juicy steak, steak and enjoy it without having the issue of not being able to. So you know what he did? He got himself all implants. Mm. And he's miles. And he's got a beautiful set of teeth. And he enjoys those steaks. And, you know, he says it to me. You know, only in America. Yeah. If I had stayed in Vietnam, I could not have done it. And we're going back, right, when they were being occupied Maybe. by communists. Yeah. But, but the thing is that um, in order to make it, when he opened up his business, he was sleeping in his business. He never right. made it home, you know, for three days in a row. The, you know, the exhaustion of working there to try to make the American dream. Yeah. You know, he would stay and sleep there. And that's a sacrifice that... Very few will make. Correct. You have to be driven. Something has to drive you to that level. It's like Steve Jobs said, you know, you have to be crazy to put in this number of hours and do this number of things.